This is Soul, and Virgo, we're going to look at some weekend uh, love and romance energies for you, starting the 16th and ending on the 18th, okay? So this is also something new that I'm trying. Uh, I'm using my favorite uh, go-to tarot deck, uh, Victorian Romantic Tarot. Uh, what's different here in this particular uh, energy that I'm about to do for you, I've reversed some cards here, okay? So we're going to be using this deck here. I'm only going to be pulling... A couple of cards here. I think, you know, just to focus on love and relationships and what could be uh, happening for you this weekend if you're already uh, in a situation, partnership, if you're single, you know, same-sex same loving energy. So these energies here are going to be for Virgo suns, moons, Virgo rising signs, um, Venus as well. And also I'm just going to be throwing in the truce couple cards from the truth deck i don't know if you guys remember that and also um bish what's the t okay so this should be interesting let's begin to see what's going on here focusing on um love and romance for virgos for the weekend september 16th through the 18th what are the messages here for virgo what's going on what's coming up Messages for Virgo. All right, so Virgo, we're going to start with the first energy here for you. Well, let me, let's do it this way. Let me just throw the cards out. Okay, we got the High Priestess. We got the uh, Knight of Swords. We have the... Six of Wands, we have the Page of Cups, so it's looking very promising. Maybe I'll just do five cards. How about that? And then just talk about the energies of these cards. So far, all these cards are in the upright position. The last card here is the Knight of Wands. All right, so here we go. What I see here coming up for you guys, uh, when it comes to these relationships, there's some sort of secrets going on here. Either you're keeping secrets I'm focusing on love and relationship only here. So either you have a crush on somebody or you're keeping um, your feelings hidden from someone or someone could be possibly hiding their feelings from you, Virgo, and possibly uh, crushing on you as well. The billowing wings uh, smoke is always about a mystery, something mysterious. High Priestess represents Pisces, a Cancer and Scorpio, opposites attract. This is a relationship card. Uh, what follows that relationship card is the court card, the Knight of Swords. So taking action and taking, um, you know, making decisions when it comes to your relationship. So I feel that someone could be coming in who is new if you are that single Virgo, or it could be that you both are doing something if you're already in a partnership together and you're charging through something this weekend. Maybe... Uh, because the horse is here, you could be traveling together, visiting places, you know, just spending quality time with one another. All right. So if you are single, you could still meet somebody who is different from you. Uh, age variance. I always talk about I always talk about, um, you know, different uh, language, different culture coming, you know, from a different um, uh, living, a, you know, from a different country, city, state, town, something going to be different about this energy here. All right. So, but I could always already be speaking about Virgos who are already in partnerships and there's some sort of differences going on as well. So the Knight of Swords here is always about that action, taking charge, making moves. You're very action oriented this weekend, or you will be when it comes to your relationships, whether you're single or whether you're in a partnership. Six of Wands, there's the traveling energy again, okay? It's in the upright position, so Six of Wands is victory and success. Something, um, you know, moving towards you in a positive direction that could be very well your relationship that you're currently in, or it could be that you're single and you're moving towards, or it could be that somebody is moving towards you uh, when it comes to romance, all right? This is traveling, so you could be, you know, vacationing together, um, could be taking small trips over the weekend. Um, whether you're single or not, if you're single, you can still be traveling. But uh, I feel that whatever your uh, ultimate destination is, there could be a possibility of meeting someone new who could turn out to be a new uh, romantic link. And guess what? What follows the Six of Wands that represents fire, uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, the Page of Cups, the new relationship, Okay. Two people here on the page of cups. This is why I like to use this deck here when I'm doing love and romance because it 
normally in any other decks it has a single person, okay? So this is the start of new love, but we're already connecting here with two people. So um, definitely, uh, I'm going to throw this in here because I was just going to stay focused on love and relationship for you guys. There could be some sort of pregnancy news that is received over the weekend or somebody could be giving birth, all right? But there is an aspect of some new relationship uh, forming or there's some sort of new development then we follow off and end off with the knight of wands okay so it's the meeting meeting up with someone spending quality time with someone this is a card of sexual energy sexual expression so some of you may be finding out that your entire weekend is full of passion intensity you know that fire sexual energy sexual expression get your groove on whatever okay it is here it is fiery it is passionate Knight of Wands represents fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And this is what I have for you that some of you could be expecting and trying to do a summation of all the energies here. I just feel that you guys are either, um, there's something mysterious or you could meet somebody who is mysterious. All right. You could also meet somebody who is mysterious if you were single, but then you could be crushing on somebody, uh, liking somebody or somebody could be crushing or liking on you. All right. And uh, pay attention to your intuition when it comes to your love and romance. You know, those feelings that you get, uh, the voices that you hear is always your spiritual energy trying to grab your attention um, to make sure that you're making the right decisions and the choices. The night of uh Swords here is taking charge, taking action. So either someone is moving um, towards you in a, in a chargeful way, energetic way, or it could be just that you are the Virgo who is already in the partnership and then you guys are charging, doing something very fast. It could be, you know, related to cars or whatever, but uh, it could be also traveling. So you could be traveling together this weekend and just feeling charged up. Here's victory and success. So, you know, positive energy movement forward. If you are, move, you know, traveling, whether it's uh, locally, uh, if it's long distance, say passage to, say passage from. This is a very positive card. Then we have the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that Page of Cups as new relationships may be formed this weekend. And then here's the new relationship right here. It also could be the new relationship or it could be uh, explaining the existing relationships. The Knight of Wands cross mirroring oh well it mirrors the knight of um i'm sorry the knight of wands mirrors the high priestess so even though that this is a whole um aspect of some sort of mystery the weekend might foretell that whoever um has an interest in you virgo in terms of crushes or liking it may be known this weekend we don't even need the full moon here or the moon in itself to have some sort of revelations no it could be that you you know hook up with the person that has an interest in you or vice versa all right so that's what i have for you for the weekend uh love scope let's just throw some additional cards here you can take you know take these messages however you want i haven't decided how many cards i'm going to throw because i wanted to keep the weekend uh readings very very short here and just focusing on love and relationships so Let's throw some truths, uh, messages out here for you guys. Let's see what's coming up. All right. And the first one here, we have uh, offers. See, there we go. The offers of a relationship. Next one up is uh, sneaky. Somebody could be on the sneak tip. All right. <laughs> intimacy. That's what it's all about with that intimacy. Because the Knight of Wands is here. It's about that fiery passion, intensity. All right, so let's just do the shadow here and Twin Flame. Wow, you can't top this off any better than this. Twin Flame is here as your uh, shadow energy. So I'm going to put that down here as well. Okay, and then we're just going to throw a couple of um, ish the tea. I don't know if this is appropriate to use this deck or I should use... Um, no, let's use this deck, okay? This is all for entertainment purposes only, all right? So, messages for Virgo, Virgo, suns, moons, and Virgo rising signs. When it comes to those relationships, and we're focusing on relationships for this weekend only, okay? First message for you is, um, he, she will be mine, interfering in your relationship and digging up dirt on you. Ooh. Okay, next one up is uh, happily married. That's a beautiful message, right? Happily married. And uh, let's just do one more. And it says, uh, side chick, drama. You can have him through the week, and I will take him over the, week Ooh, the weekend. Okay. 
Wow, shadow energy to that is new man. There we go. We were just talking about relationships. Now, because I read for, um, you know, males and females, this also could, uh, you know, the roles could be reversed. This could be a female. So new man, there's an aspect of someone that you're meeting new. Remember I told you about the crushes and the likes and meeting someone new through the page of uh, cups. All right, so this is what I have, a little short, quick run of the weekend energies for you Virgo just take these energies um, and you know as you seem uh, to have them fit into your uh, life you know take what resonates and leave the rest alone all right this is all for fun be safe in all that you do I will talk to you soon be well keep smiling for me I appreciate all your support bye